Hi, this is Bradley with Prairie State Tractor. Uh, today we're going to show you how to do an RD series draper calibration with an S700 combine and a Gen 4 display. So to start our header calibration, we need to get to the calibration screen. So for that, we're going to go to the menu. We're going to do machine settings over here and calibrations and procedures. For the header, we're going to tap into header and we're going to do feeder house raise speed first. We'll hit calibrate and we're gonna hit start. So to do this calibration, we need to have the engine at high idle. So we'll tap into high idle there. Then we'll start through our calibration. So to go through this calibration, we just continue to run through the directions on the screen. Uh, it is going to tell you to hold buttons, uh, whether that be the raise or lower, uh, and you just hold it as long as it says that on the screen. That's through this calibration, the header uh, feeder house will continue to move higher, faster, and lower faster as the tuning gets towards the end of the, the calibration. So after we have the feeder house raise speed calibration taken care of, now we can go to that header calibration. We'll be trying to calibrate here. It is gonna give you a quick overview. When you start the calibration, we get start. And when you lower this down to the ground, you do want to make sure that it's all the way down to the ground. So from here, we're going to do the auto header control performance tuning. Uh, so the header is actually going to bounce up and down uh, quite a bit here once this starts going. So what that's doing uh, is tuning the auto header control sensors uh, so this draper will float across the ground. Uh, also on this platform we can do the reel and cutter bar position. Same thing, we're going to get a short calibration overview and then we'll be able to start the calibration. And those are the required calibrations for this RD Flex Draper. 